when you're doing a movie like this, you're, you're just creating this whole world, this whole reality and all of the things that go along you know, with it, you know, the creatures and the actual planets and the spaceships and all this technology. So it's, a it's an absolutely tremendous design challenge and one that I think you, know, you can very easily underestimate. Just the way we lit the spaceships, we stayed with a very high contrast, single source sort of lighting style which I'm very fond of and tried to keep it in the realm of um, being as photorealistic as we could. The black holes were really interesting to me. I mean you've seen black holes in science fiction movies before and obviously there's a, a certain degree of physics that to, to back up those concepts and it was interesting trying to come up with a, a new look at, at, at a black hole and to do something that obviously had a tremendous amount of drama and, and played out very well in the movie. The thing about the, the Enterprise is that it's, it's a relatively static ship. There's not, there's not that many moving parts on it. And, I was very interested in just creating some movement within the ship so that it could uh, participate more in what it was doing. So if it went into warp, you'd actually see it change form or change shape or see some subtle difference in the ship. If it went into battle, you'd see some small change in it. And obviously I didn't want to destroy the, the sort of legacy of the way the ship was designed. But at the same time, I wanted to just to give it some sort of more involvement in what it was doing. And so we did things with the, with the dish at the front of the secondary hull where it would essentially, when it went into warp, and, and it would just change its mode, you know, it would actually open out like a flower. And it's a very subtle thing, but to me, it just really makes a difference as to the believability of something like that, that it's actually, it's, it's, it's having to do something. It's not just a static, and you know, it, it, it actually it gets involved in what it's achieving. The DM sequence was just a wonderful moment to use a lot of technology uh, uh, where we were creating this enormous debris field, something that I think a few years ago would have been really difficult to do. So besides destroying planets and all those sort of things, you could, we could also do this stuff where we could create a debris field, all of the debris could be moving around, and the ship could go through it and actually literally collide with it and just knock these pieces out of the way. And it's all based on some, you know, real physics. So it feels to me, immensely real when you're looking at it, because everything's doing what it should do. Forvers come about starboard, 90 degrees, drop us down underneath and through. 